Only on two, local teens screaming racial slurs on a video that's going viral. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live in Thousand Oaks where parents are reacting to this disturbing footage. Rachel. Well, Pat, Thousand Oaks High here and Westlake High are now investigating, and they made it clear that they do not condone this type of behavior. Now, the language in this video is so offensive, there's not much we can show you or let you hear. It's an offensive video that some say unfortunately went viral. In the 38 second video posted on Twitter and other social media, at least four teens are inside a moving car. With rap music in the background, you can hear some of them yelling the N word and expletives targeting African Americans, and at one point saying kill black people. I'm, I'm appalled. I'm like, oh my gosh. I didn't know it was that bad. Parents at Thousand Oaks High reacted to the video and were disappointed to learn that one of the teens involved is a student at their school. I think they should all be expelled. And they shouldn't be allowed to even participate. As a joke, do you find that funny? I don't find it funny. I find it very racist and I find it very offensive. All good kids out here. They're very good. Uh, they're constantly doing sports. Uh, you know, they play together a lot. And it's just that uh, somebody made a mistake. A Twitter post said one of the teens is a Westlake High student. The principal did not confirm that, but said they're investigating. The Conejo Valley Unified School District said in a statement, the language and opinions expressed in the rap song that recently surfaced in a video online are not representative of the district, the governing board, or district staff. When a student violates district policy, we respond promptly and appropriately according to our policies and procedures. Discipline, yes, they should be, should be disciplined for sure. But on my opinion, again, all this stuff starts at home with the parents. Kids should be accountable and the parents should be accountable. No word yet on any discipline by district officials. They just hope this doesn't cause any problems when school starts on August 23rd. Back to you in the studio.